Hello my lovely year 13s, welcome to Preppy Half Term and this I'm sure is a very welcome break for you because you guys have had an absolutely manic half term and next half term is pretty manic as well. With UCAS, university interviews, with college and what you're going to do next, potentially getting jobs and then your A-levels coming up. This is a really, really hard time for you guys so it is really important that you do take time over this holiday to relax, refresh, recharge but also also use that time sensibly to start your revision in earnest to start things properly because things are coming up soon. Now I do not want you to jump straight into doing timed papers. When I spoke to you last time we were doing over and bit papers so really really low stress going and looking up all of the answers and then maybe while you're doing that you notice some gaps in your revision. What I want you to do this half term is spend the time filling in those gaps in revision. So it is just facts, it's learning the facts, learning the short facts, going over and over and over again. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to do some recall questions, retrieval practice. So we're not worrying about writing essays, we're not even worrying about writing down the answers. The point is just to do the question and see if you got things right or not. Do you know the answers? You don't have to write this down, you can just do it on your head, you can just do it on Quizlet as loads of like all of my Aid Biology flashcards are up there so that's a great way to do it. Um, over on my website I've mapped out the specifications for you for biology, chemistry and maths and then what I've done is put the video and then put the quiz where you can go through and check that you know everything on there for all your A-levels, for all the specifications. I've already done it, it's all really really easy, free, don't even need to log in for you to go and do this. But this is a great way for you to fill in those gaps. And we're so early on in the year, if you try a quiz, if you look at a question and you get it wrong, that's absolutely fine. We've got time to fix this. You can work out what the answer is. If you do it on my website, it tells you what the answer is. If you're doing maths, then it works you through all of the solutions so you can properly see where you went wrong. Um, we have time to get things wrong. It is okay. So what I want you to do is to add as many short answer questions as you can to work out where those gaps in the knowledge are. If we're thinking about building a house and the knowledge is the bricks, there's no point putting a fancy roof on if all the bricks at the bottom just aren't there and in place. So we can think of the pure knowledge, the recall, as the 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 foundations, the bricks, before we go on and do writing our fancy essays, which is going to be the fancy roof that we're going to put on the top. Really spend this half term solidifying knowledge. And then later on, we can practice applying in questions. We can practice using it to write essays. But if you don't have the knowledge secure, then you're really going to struggle with all of the other stuff. So do as many short recall questions as you can this half term. Practice pulling stuff from your your brain and either using it to ask questions on your phone or writing it down however works best for you but this is the time that we're going to be filling in those gaps now the other things I want you to be doing this half term is to properly try and get good habits in place now I say this every year and I know most people ignore me every year until we get later on but the better habits you get in place at the moment, the easier your exams are going to be. And I am talking about all the boring, useful stuff like getting to bed early, leaving your phone downstairs, making sure you're drinking enough water, make sure you're staying hydrated, getting a little bit of exercise. I know sometimes going out and getting that bit of exercise feels like cheating because you should be revising, but it is really, really good for your mental health and that will feed through into your exam. So please try and do that over half term as well. I have so much stuff coming out for you. For A-levels maths, chemistry and biology, we're going to have predictive papers for all of the big examples, so AQA, NXL, OCR and the amazing thing that we're doing as well this year is going to have video walkthroughs for all the exam papers so showing you exactly what the examiners would be looking for in this sort of question, what you're supposed to write if this sort of command word is used. Um, this is a huge amount of work and it will all be out over Easter. You and me guys, we can do this. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.